Um, so, right, what we're starting with today is uh, some foam board. Uh, I've got two uh, different pieces here. We've got foam core, which is the um, foam with paperback sides, and the insulation board, which is the other type, which is literally the same but without uh, the paper on it. I much prefer this sort of stuff just because it's a lot easier to work with and the paper one tends to tear a little bit if your knife isn't like super sharp uh, in which case you go through blades quite fast. Anyway what you need is for the bricks you just need a sharp knife, a ruler, preferably a steel one, uh, I don't actually have mine at the moment, and a pencil uh, and that's about it. So firstly just get your pencil and ruler and mark out um, you know, measure how thick you want the bricks to be. So generally for me it's about a centimetre. So I'll just pop them in here quickly. Uh, this is just guidelines really. Um, it's fine if you indent it, because uh, you'll be going over it anyway. So I'll just um, do half a dozen here. Now, first you line them up and the best, the probably, yeah, the best way is just to get your knife and slit it right across there. Uh, and this is so it, it's, if you just do it with a pencil straight away, sometimes you don't get that, uh, you know, a very nice effect. So there you go, you just slice into that. Uh, and that's, that's nice and easy to do. Uh, so you can do as many as you want, I'll just do about that, that should be fine. And then you get your pencil. Uh, you can get a fairly blunt one depending on how thick you want, you know, the space. And you can go over it a few times to thicken it or whatever. So I'm just going to go through there. Like that. And that's coming out quite nicely. Uh, as you see, you get a nice effect. Right, next just carving your bricks. It's really uh, not difficult to do uh, but you do get a really nice effect. I mean after doing a building once it's bricked up it looks uh, so much better and like there's so much more detail just for such a simple method as well. Uh, so once I get through that uh, I shall update you. Right, there we go, so that's me just finished doing that, uh, I've, you know, carved in, and it's really good just to go around the sides sometimes so that you get a kind of curved edge, um, because it just looks a bit more natural, especially if you're doing, uh, you know, older medieval buildings, uh, it's good, because uh, they look just that slightly bit more worn, and um, I'll show you a close up, see if you can see the difference or not. Uh, but that's the idea. Right, next what you do is you just get some tin foil, uh, you scrunch up, and this is brilliant for getting some texture. So you just you simply press in, the harder you press the more you know the more imprint it leaves. Um, and that's brilliant to give you a nice stone texture and it makes the building look quite worn as well if you're if that's what you're trying to get at. Uh, so that works perfectly. Uh, so that's what we've got. Next, uh, what you can do is just get um, anything that's one centimeter long uh, so that it fits into the bricks and then you simply press down and then that gets you some extra depth so it looks like each brick is individual. And you can, you can place it anywhere really. Um, it's probably better to do this before the, um, the tin foil because you get a bit more depth just because this pushes it uh, down already. Uh, but that's the idea. So you just you have to press quite hard if you want to get quite a bit more depth or not uh, compared to the other bricks. But that comes out really well. I'm not sure if you can see that. Oh, I can't see the camera from up here. There you go. Uh, so that's that's exactly what you want, uh, and that's coming together quite nicely. Um, next, well, you can just add some simple cracks in the bricks uh, with your knife. Make sure it's nice and sharp. Remember, uh, and that comes out always really well. 
Cracks are generally quite straight right across like that. Uh, and that's about it for this one. Uh, next, what you do generally is you'd paint that. You could give it a base coat of black and then simply just give it a dry brush of grey over. And that really brings out the detail uh, quite well, actually. I don't think I have a model to show you of that, but it's really simple, and um, there's nothing to it. Uh, you can do different different sorts of, you know, colouring if you want a sandstone effect or a limestone. Uh, I do have a model here, which I did recently in one of the other videos. That was using the same technique, however, I don't think I actually applied the tinfoil on that. But you can see that you do have the different brick, you know, depth, and that, that just comes out. Fabulous. Um, right, for the other piece, um, I don't like working with this as such, but you do. You can use a similar method. Uh, so again, simply I'll um, I'll cut out the bricks, and that takes a second, and then I'll show you the next step. Right, that's me now finished just filling in the bricks there. Now this leaves uh, a shiny surface, you know, a smooth shiny surface which you really don't want for your models um, and unfortunately this actually, uh, pressing this in doesn't work. A lot of people often just rip bits of the paper off, uh, which you'd actually have to do before because after it doesn't work as such. And you do get a bit of texture there if you can see, um, but that that's not a great method. So what I would do is you mix up some PVA, some sand, and your paint, uh, your, you know, the base coat, wh white or black, whatever, um, and then that comes out really well. I won't show you. Oh, it just fell apart. Uh, yeah, if you, you know, put your pencil too deep, it can sometimes snap it off. Um, but that comes out really nice. I do have a model, a previous one that I did and that was using that exact method and that, you know, the detail on that comes out really nicely uh, if I shine the light that way uh, and you can just take little chunks out of it to show that it's been, you know, damaged or whatever you want and that is just the same, literally the same stuff and that comes out really well uh, I guess there is another method you could use I'm not that much of a fan of it film board, there we go, uh, which I have seen some people use, sorry, a frilly box in my tiles here, polka dots, um, which is they just literally, you know, get some PVA and stick down bits of card, uh, and that, that can work quite well, but it's quite difficult to get them, you know, all like, perfectly shaped, and it's quite time consuming, uh, and, you know, that that's, that's the idea there. Um, but I'd preferably go for the other two. However, I do use this method quite a lot for tiling the roofs. Uh, you just overlap them, just like that, and uh, you get the idea. Just so that it goes over. Uh, and that's that's what I did with this model. Just overlapped the tiles, uh, and that that comes out perfectly. Uh, so that's about it. I'll try and get another video up. I think the next one I'll put up is getting arches, uh, making windows, pillars, and, you know, starting to get a little bit more complicated. But this is just a nice little beginner video for you. So I hope that's fine. And again, Happy New Year. See you soon.